I showed you about the Uru satellite. When Uru satellite was launched, it looked at uh, the sky in a region which is known as the constellation of Centaurus, and it found a very strange source. Okay, it found that there was a X-ray source which was undergoing periodic brightening and dimming. Okay, so here is a plot of the intensity as measured by Uru. Okay, as a function of time, that is the X-axis intensity, Y-axis. Uh, y axis intensity, x axis is time. So you can see that intensity of the source is periodically going up and down, and this period is found to be 4.8 seconds. And when they measured over a longer period for days, the intensity of the the intensity of the source, they found that intensity of this source at one stage suddenly became zero, it was undetectable, and then again recalled after some time. So this immediately indicated that this is an eclipsing source. Here it underwent an eclipse, there is no excess or intensity, excess was disappeared, intensity became in the undetectable, and then again it recalled. And moreover, they measured the arrival time of the <coughs> X ray events, and they found that the arrival time of X ray pulses or X ray events was having a sinusoidal shape. It was periodically showing a shift. And now we understand that this shift was due to what is known as the Doppler effect. All of you must have studied in high school. The Doppler effect, so the, when the source of the radiation is in motion, then it moves away from us, it gets red shifted, when it moves towards us, it sh gets blue shifted. And so you see a difference in the arrival time. So you immediately became clear that this is a new class of object that Uru discovered. These are now known as the binary X ray pulsars. These X ray pulsars are analogous to the radio pulsars which were discovered earlier, several years earlier by Anthony Huish and his team and uh, immediately become clear that here most probably what is happening is a neutron star, next slide please, is a neutron star which is in a binary orbit around the companion star and then they, when they are revolving around their common center of mass. So when the matter gets pulled due to the high gravity, gravity of the neutron star, it undergoes into it undergo it has angular momentum so therefore it form, uh, it goes into orbit around the neutron star it forms a disk like structure and the matter in the disk due to viscosity slowly spirals inwards and the gas gets heated up and here is a picture when the matter reaches close to the neutron star because neutron star is a high magnetic field so the matter uh, in, uh, spirals inward in one go inward spiraling matter which now gets heated up and gets gets ionized is guided by the magnetic field lines to the poles, magnetic poles, north and south pole. And here the important thing to note is that the magnetic axis is not aligned with the rotation axis of the neutron star. So as the neutron star rotates, then the beam, you know, comes in our field of view and disappears from our field of view. And therefore we see a, a brightening and dimming of the X-ray source. So this is X-ray pulsar with a period of 4.8 seconds and the binary period about two days. And this is the first object which was discovered, first binary X-ray source which was discovered by Uru satellite and now several hundreds of sources we know. So essentially when we are observing X-ray source, we are seeing release of energy by the matter into the gravitational well of the X-ray emitting neutron star or black hole. Next slide please. 